Hi, I'm Dan Arkish, the executive editor of Pro Football Weekly with an off-season preview of the Arizona Cardinals. Ken Wisenhunt will be entering a season in the desert feeling genuine heat for the first time in his tenure as the Cardinals head coach. Coming off successive division titles in the NFC West, the Cardinals dropped into the cellar in 2010 as both their offense and defense experienced major problems. Whether it's via the draft, trade, or free agency, you can be rest assured that the Cardinals will have a new starting quarterback in 2011 as five different signal callers, led by free agent addition Derek Anderson, failed to sufficiently get the job done this past season. Team insiders suspect the Cardinals will add both a veteran and a rookie at the all-important quarterback position, with the offense to be coordinated by Mike Miller, who shared that role with Russ Grimm last season. It's also imperative that the Cardinals upgrade a linebacking core that was really hurt by the free agent defection of Carlos Dansby in 2010, with the addition of a quality pass rushing outside linebacker shaping up as a major priority for a defense that will be run by its third different coordinator in five seasons. Ray Horton, who was previously the secondary coach for the AFC champion Steelers, plans to install an aggressive, attacking 3-4 scheme patterned directly after Dick LeBeau's highly successful system in Pittsburgh. A big part of the battle for Horton will be his ability to get through to underachieving defenders such as cornerback Dominic rogers camardi defensive end Calais Campbell, and strong safety Adrian Wilson, a lot better than his predecessors Billy Davis was able to do. There were more than a few times this past season when Arizona's defense looked like it was just going through the motions and Horton must nip that tendency in the bud quickly for the Cardinals to make a comeback. Another key need the Cardinals face in the upcoming draft are reinforcements for an offensive line with four starters in right guard Deuce Latui, center Lyle Senline, left guard Alan Fanica, and right tackle Brandon Keith becoming possible free agents. Also on the free agent front, they must make a decision on Steve Breston, the quality number two receiver behind Larry Fitzgerald with a great attitude whose knee problems have apparently become more of a concern. The Cardinals still have their share of really good players, led by Fitzgerald, whose contract is due to expire at the end of next season, and Darnell Dockett, one of the league's most disruptive defensive linemen when he's on his game. But with the need for a new signal caller at the top of a lengthy list of concerns, the cards could be stacked against them in 2011. For more information on every team in the NFL, go to ProFootballWeekly.com and check us out on Twitter.